Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So a couple of days ago, I posted a video asking you the question, is Microsoft sabotaging Classic Outlook for the new Outlook for Windows? And as I mentioned in that video, which will be linked if you want to get some more information, I said that after nearly a year, Microsoft had finally acknowledged a high CPU usage issue in Classic Outlook. Now, just to let you know that I have a bit of an update regarding this issue where Microsoft has now confirmed officially that it is working on a fix for the CPU usage sparks for users of the Classic Outlook app on Windows, where the CPU utilization jumped to between 30 and 50% while composing messages. And obviously, this not only impacts system performance, but also leads to increased power consumption. So as an example, if you have a laptop, increased power consumption can lead to overheating and then that can put a bit of strain on your battery life so it is a bit of a problem now the fix isn't live yet and it seems that microsoft is going to take a bit of time to get this out to the stable channel because they have provided an estimated timeline for the rollout of the fix across um, its various update channels so users in the beta channel can expect the fix first which Microsoft says will roll out around early May this year. So that's just in a couple of days' time. Following that, the fix is then targeted for the current channel preview by mid-May. And then lastly, the broader rollout to everyone is planned with the same update rolling out around late May. So according to Microsoft, everybody across the board will be getting the fix. But obviously, it still has to go through the different channels, insider channels, um, before Microsoft ensures that the fix is actually good. So I just wanted to post this quick video just to keep you guys updated like we like to do on the channel. So if you are in the stable channel around about the end of May, just to sum it all up really, you are going to be getting the fix for that high CPU usage. Better late than never, I suppose. But it begs me to ask the question, why did Microsoft still take so long to try and fix that issue? And it seems now that only when a bit of a fuss has been made about it that they are now working on a fix to roll out to the general public. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.